So here we have the crankshaft for the 46 Pontiac. Uh, the first step is to check it for being bent. So we put a dial indicator on the center of it and rotate it. And sure enough, it's bent about five thousandths. And since the bearing clearance is only about two thousandths, that's not acceptable. So the procedure for straightening it is the bend is pointed upwards and I'm going to jack down on it below where zero is and then let it spring back and check the bend again. And I'll, I'll advance it a little bit at a time until it starts to move until I get it corrected. Just to be on the safe side after we're done straightening this, we always magna glow it to make sure that there's no cracks in it. So right now I've bent this 50 thousandths to try to correct 5 thousandths. And I'm going to release the tension on it and see where the bend is. And it's still bent 5 thousandths. So now I'm going to jack down on it and I'll take it to 100 thousandths and then release it. And check the bend. And it's bent a little bit less, more like 4 thousandths. So I'm going to have to jack down on it again. And I'll take it to 150, which is more than an eighth of an inch. And release, and it's still bent four thousandths. So repeat, I'll go to 200. It's always better to go in relatively small increments. Okay, that shows an improvement. It's still about three and a half thousandths, but it started to move at 200. So now I'm getting close to what it needs to get it straight. So I had gone to 200, and I'm gonna go to 250. And if you nice. watch when it springs back, you'll see how much it's actually bending. Okay, that's about two and a half. Still in the same direction. Now I'm going to go to 300 thousandths. Okay, now I'm down to about a thousandth, and that's probably about as good as it's going to get. That's, that's with intolerance, and just to be on the safe side, I'm going to check the nose of the crank to make sure that runs true, and it runs perfectly true. Yeah, so that'll be fine. If, if it doesn't run true, then the harmonic balancer wobbles and the pulleys wobble. So you don't want that. 